on photos. But what I did for you is when I was just erasing my Ibiza, I just got back. I basically, every time I took a photo for the gram, I screen recorded my phone so you could see exactly how I took that photo and the movements I was doing, the location, the posing, the outfit, everything to do with it. Um, so I could show you exactly how I did it and also then how I edited it as well. Woohoo! Okay. So I'm going to do pretty much the ones I've already posted. I still do have some more to post. Let me just record my phone screen for you and I'm going to put it this side. I need to move this way a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put my screen here. Okay, so the photos I have posted in Ibiza um, are these, well there's those two but I didn't do those two. So these six are the ones I've got so far um, and I have more. So just so you can get a preview of what my photos look like and kind of the editing and stuff, this is the vibe I go for. This green bikini, then this one's more like a, it's not a selfie but it's kind of in that region. Um, another full length and then a crop. So let's start with that one. Okay, so this is the, the video of taking the photos. So this is the view we had going on and I got, Pete took this and I got him to stand kind of from above a little bit so you'd get the swimming pool. I didn't want to pan out the view, I wanted it just to be of like the swimming pool view of the hotel. And you can see I'm just trying to move my body a lot to make the shirt kind of blow in the wind a little bit. I did want it to be a behind shot, not from the front or anything. So this is what we had to begin with. So I just flicked through this. I highly re recommend taking a few and then flicking through and see if you have one you like or if you feel like you need to possibly take more. I think that's the one I actually ended up using. Yep, look, I hearted it already. So even though I knew that I liked this one, we still went back in and took some more photos. So there's the view. Okay, so we took a few. I just tried to do some a little bit close up so I got more view. But I ended up not liking these and the one I just told you was the one I ended up using. So, the first thing I do, I actually have my own preset that I made on Lightroom. So I put that on there. So if I find that photo, which is, you can see I actually edited two, a close up one and a further away one. I did decide to post the full length photo. So this was the before image of what the colours and everything looked like before. I edit it with my preset on Lightroom. So I literally just put my preset on. Um, I have quite a few presets I've made, as you can see here. Um, but the one I use is this one here called Nude Tan Tones. That's my current preset. And um, you can see I've even made one for Peanut. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my current preset that I use. Um, I've just added it again. I don't need to add it twice. Okay. So I added that preset on. I am trying to work on something for you guys, so you can use my filter slash preset. Um, so bear with me, I am working on something, super exciting, but it's just taking a little bit of time. So just give me a minute and I'm going to try and figure it out for you. So that is what I did and I then went and took the photo into InstaSize. And let's find the photo, it is this one right here. So I go to Instagram full, which is this one here, to get the size of the photo. And then I go next, and then I use the filter F2, but I bring it down to around 50. So this is it at full, and then this is it at 50. So that's the before and the after. You can see it's not hugely different. I don't, I don't know why I prefer it with, I can't figure it out, but either way I like it, but I do use F2 at 50 for all of them. And then I just added my cross, which you can see down there. And then that photo was good to go and I post it. Okay, moving on to the next photo, which was the bikini one, which was this one here. I'm not going to lie guys, this photo, I actually posted two, I posted this one and this one. So there's two on there. And let's go to the footage first of me trying to get it. I honestly spent a lot of time getting this photo because I was trying lots of different places um because I couldn't decide where I wanted it so this was actually at the Nobu hotel and we started off Pete obviously had the camera here but then we realized he couldn't the pool was right there and he couldn't fit me in 
So he had to walk and actually get in the pool and it was really cold and he was really annoyed with me. So this is Pete now walking to get in the pool. Okay, so you can see I'm sitting kind of one leg up and just moving around, like putting your hands in your hair, stretching up, leaning back, leaning forward, just keep moving. But you wanna, if you've got the general idea and you wanted to have one leg in, so once you've got like the kind of general idea of what you're looking for, it's much easier to, to work with it, you know, because you're keeping that part still, but you're moving the other part. So then I decided I wasn't too keen on that, so we tried in the pool. So then we tried these ones in the pool. So I'm in the pool, he's in the pool. Start off with this pose where I'm more out the pool, and then I realized I needed to be more in the pool. So in a second, I actually go further down in the pool, because this wasn't really working. I was like, it was hurting my stomach for a start, and it was just like uncomfortable. <laughs> so then I got in the pool, and that's when we got the next shot that you saw. So here I am in the pool. So I'm like waist high in and kind of leaning forward. I didn't realize until I watched this back what weirdness I'm doing with my legs. Because I think because they were underwater, I just thought you couldn't really see my legs. But you can. <laughs> um, so you can see he's kind of a little bit above angle. But not massively, just slightly above. Um, so we get just a nice view behind. And these are the ones I went to, I decided to go for. And you can see I'm just moving around to get different positions. We did then also try some sitting like this, but I didn't end up using these. I didn't like them as much. So the two photos I decided to use, I actually think I edited three, but I only posted two. Yeah, I edited these three. So this one, which was the first one you saw, I also edited this one sitting on the edge and then this one in the pool. So I'll just show you how I edited one because they are all the same. So this is the before. And this is the after. My main concern with this particular photo with the outfit is obviously the, the neon green bikini was so freaking cool. Like I absolutely loved it. It looked so nice. But as you know, my feed is not really a neon green feed. So I was like, am I going to be able to make this work? Is it going to fit in with my feed? Um, and as you can see before, the green is more green. Whereas after, I feel like you can still tell it's a neon green, but it just fits much better. So I used the same preset on this one, the nude tan tones. You can see the before and the after. The thing I love most about my preset on this case is I really like the way it makes the blues less blue. They're more of like a grey muted colour. I really like that muted colour and also the tan colour. Um, so that is the before and after of that one. And again, I did go ahead and put that into InstaSize. Um, let's just show you that one as well. I actually decided to crop this one a lot more. So I still went Instagram full. But as you can see, I've really cropped it in because originally it would have been like this. Uh, even more, like this. But I decided I wanted it to be quite cropped. My battery just ran out. I don't know how much of that recorded. So this is a weird jump and that's why. So yeah, this photo I decided to crop quite a bit. So before it was full length, but I decided to make it a little bit closer. I just think it worked better. I can't remember how close I had it now, around there. Um, and again, with the F2, I put that down to 32 this time. So that's the before, and that's the after. Put the cross on, and that is that one done. Next photo was this one. I really like this photo and it's just weird because it was a very spur of the moment photo. Like I hadn't particularly planned the outfit. I hadn't planned the location. I hadn't planned anything. It just, I was like, oh my God, look at these cute cactuses. Cacti. Let's take a photo. Okay, so let's find this one. Okay, so yeah, so we sat on the stool. And first of all, I sat on the stool. As you can see, I'm really sitting on the stool. Um, and I did this because I wanted to show you something. So here I'm sitting on it, I'm leaning back, and you can see I don't look super small, I look a little bit chubby in my opinion. <laughs> Not chubby, but like, you know, like I don't look my best. Okay, so then I looked at them and I was like, no. So, when you're working with a stool, I recommend sitting on the edge of the stool. So you're really not that sitting on it, so make your legs look a hell of a lot longer. Um, and just gonna look better in in general, you know? So here you can see I'm not on the stool, I'm just perching my leg on the end, and look how much slimmer I look. I look taller, I look slimmer, you can see my stomach muscles much better than before, before they were just like all hunched up, now they look way, way better, like, 
so much better. So this is one of the ones I ended up going for. You can see I'm just moving around. My leg position is not changed because I liked this leg position, but the top half, my hands and my body on the top is going to be moving. The one I decided to edit for this photo was this one right here. So this is the before and then this is the after. So you can see the colouring this one is very different in my opinion. I think the before is fine, but how I like my photos to look on my feed is like this. Um, I do look way more tanned. Um, this is still the same preset by the way, the new tan tones. I do look way more tanned. I mean I still look tanned here, it's just kind of a different colouring, it's not as tanned. And I really like like how this, the caption I look in the background. And I just love the colours of this. So the same preset. And again, I went and took it oops, into InstaSize. Let's just come out of this one. And here it is. And I did the exact same thing. Instagram full, F2, down to 24 this time. So this is the before. And this is the, ooh. This is the before. And this is the after. Okay, next photo. Next photo is this selfie-ish one. So this was for breakfast. We were at this place called Beach House Ibiza. Really nice place to go for breakfast if you're in Ibiza. Um, okay, let's find the footage of how I took this one. Uh, Pete hates taking these ones because he's like, I'm really hungry, can we just eat now? <laughs> I'm like, no, you can't. Okay, so Pete's got his breakfast, he wants to eat. I'm like, no babe, you need to take my photo. <laughs> Annoying person. Okay, I start off without sunglasses on. Um, so I just kind of lent, you can see this arm's quite like out because I feel like that just gives you a bit more shape and it's quite exaggerated, like in real life I'm quite, I'm quite stretched, yeah? Um, so then we looked at those and then I decided to put my, my glasses on. We were actually trying to get to cover the woman you see there in the background, <laughs> this woman here, because <laughs> um, you kept getting in the way. So I'm over this side, as you can see here, but then we tried to like make it so she wasn't in the way. So yeah, like here, you see? So now this one, she I'm covering her with myself. So if you've got someone behind you that's it, it kind of not working for your photo, just like put yourself in front of it. So the photo I edited for that one, um, oh, I did two. I did, this is obviously the one I used. So this is the before, and then this is with my nude tan filter. And then I also did do this one, because I quite liked that I was looking down at the pancake, but the woman was very in the background, that kind of bugged me, so I didn't use it. But this was the before and the after of this one. So this is the one I decided to use. And then, obviously, again, I put it on InstaSize and did the exact same thing I showed you before to get this effect. Next up was this photo right here. Let me find the footage for that one. That was at, this one was actually at the same. Oops, oops, what's going on? The same place. That was my pancake, by the way. Look how nice that is. Yum. It was delicious. Okay, so this next photo was actually at the same restaurant, the same place we went for breakfast. Um, I just took my t-shirt off because I had this crop top underneath. This was just a boomerang I did there. I had the crop top underneath anyway, so I just took my t-shirt off. I highly recommend doing that if you're going out for the day or something and you think that you might want to get a couple of photos, then wear something that you can take off and you've got kind of layers on or bring like a small other top in your bag because then you can change tops and it's not going to look too annoying on your feed because you're not going to be wearing the same outfit. So definitely recommend layering and just thinking ahead of what you might want or take like a hat or just something that's going to be a bit different. Okay, so that photo, is it this one? Okay, so I started off, this was actually the bathroom. It was like an outdoor bathroom. It was really cool. And this is where I started taking photos. You can see it's really nice. It's got like hanging plants in the background and stuff. Um, they were okay. Like I had a look at them and I was like, oh, that's quite cute. Like they were, they were fine. They were quite cute. But I wasn't like blown away. So then we moved on to move around to, I took some more. It was a really cute bathroom. Like, look how cute the bathroom is. Like, it's really nice. But yeah, so then we moved around to, it had like this area 
where it had, that was the bathroom we just did, but it had like this area of like swinging chairs and stuff. So I was like, right, I'm gonna stand in front of these. And also the sun was directly on us. So that can work in your favor or not. But in this case, the lighting was perfect. So I just stood next to this like hanging drapey thing. Um, and yeah, someone walked past, we stopped. <laughs> And then you can see I'm standing one leg forward. I always think that's going to make your legs look better. And I'm just moving back and forth. Had a look through them. I was like, yeah, okay, this lighting's definitely better. So then we continued to take some more. Okay, so then we continued to take some more. So you can see I'm kind of just rocking, like stepping back and forward, like rocking. So it keeps it a little bit more natural. Putting my arm up because it was sunny, it kind of worked to like kind of shadow your face a bit, look quite cool. You can see I'm just moving around, stepping forward, going back, switching my legs around. So then the one I chose for that, I really like this photo, um, was this one here. So this is the before, and then this is with my preset. So you can see definitely it's just muted the tones, the green in the background is not so green, the sky is more grey toned, the whites are kind of more, they're whiter but they're also kind of a more nudey colour, like a more neutral beige, um, which I really really like. And I then took it into InstaSize, I will just show you that one. Still Instagram full, but I cropped it, and then I've used F2 at 62 this time, so this is the before. And this is the after with that filter. You can see the blue sky. It does change the color of that quite a bit. Not quite a bit, but it does. So that was the finished one for that one. Um, let's just see. I think that's the last. Oh, no, this one. So this photo, I actually used the Kira Kira app um, to get the skirt to sparkle. It's super sparkly anyway, but I really wanted it to have this proper sparkle. So let me find the footage of that one. Hopefully I have that. I'm sure I did get that one. You know what, I don't think I did. I got I got me with the thing on, but this isn't screen recording, this was just a video I did because I knew I wanted it for my story. So I didn't get that one. Okay, so that is how I took and edited all of the photos you've seen so far on my Instagram from Ibiza. I do have more photos to post from Ibiza still. Um, I always do that, I always like have so, when I go away I just feel so inspired. So I get so much content and I'm like, I can't fit this all in. I'd literally be posting like four or five photos a day to fit it all into the actual trip. So I will be posting some more photos from Ibiza. I hope you don't mind me posting them when I'm already home, but they're cool photos. I want you to see them, you know? So, so that's everything for this video, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see the behind the scenes of the photo. I feel like that is kind of what this is. Um, I am totally up for doing another how I take photos, how I did it last time, where you get both views from the camera of me posing and the phone record screen. But when I went to Ibiza recently, it wasn't for a work trip, it was a holiday with friends. So it was super hard to film that kind of content when your friends are always there and you just want to relax and have a break. I really wanted just to relax. So I thought this was the best way to show you how I got the photos. Um, but yeah, leave, you many, leave me any requests in the comments bar down below. And again, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!